Hey, y'all. Okay, I came across this article, and I really wanted to show y'all. Um, this lady, a woman was found alive in a morgue, in the freezer in the morgue, okay, in South Africa. She had got in a, a car accident, and um, she was declared dead. All right, and so they took her to the morgue, you know, to have her, um, you know, prepped up for disposal. And thankfully, luckily, someone walked in and saw she was alive. You know, um, it's crazy. It says, dead woman found alive in South Africa morgue fridge. This article was posted seven hours ago. And it's on BBC News. A South African woman is recovering in the hospital after being discovered alive in a mortuary fridge. The woman was taken to Carlton Morgue in Gauteng Province, having been declared dead by paramedics following a road accident. Ambulance cover, I'm sorry, ambulance company distress alert said she had shown no form of life. South Africa's Times Live website reports. But when a morgue worker returned to check on the body in the fridge, he found the woman was breathing. An official has confirmed to the BBC the woman is now being treated in a hospital east of Johannesburg after being referred by forensic officers. She has not been named. An investigation into the incident is being carried out with the family demanding answers. As a family, we won't talk about this unless the police paramedics and mortuary officials who were involved are present we need answers a family member told the bbc speaking on condition of anonymity the man said the family was in shock the issue is we need answers that's all we want and we don't have any clarity now distress alert operations manager garrett bradnick said there was no proof of any negligence on his company's behalf this did not happen because our paramedics are not properly trained. Mr. Bradnick told Time Select she was one of several people involved in a car accident, which left two others dead on Sunday, June 24th. This is not the first time this year someone has woken up in a mortuary after being declared dead. In January, an inmate at a jail in Spain's, Spain's Austria's region regain consciousness hours after hours before an autopsy was due to be performed. Oh my God. Three doctors had certified him dead. It is also not the first time this has happened in South Africa. Seven years ago, a 50 year old man woke up screaming in an Eastern Cape morgue. In 2016, another road accident victim from KwaZulu natal was declared dead only to be found breathing the next day. He died five hours after the discovery. Wow, that's crazy. You know, and thankfully these people have been discovered alive, you know, before the next procedure is done. Um, you know, I, I don't know what they do to uh, actually determine death at the scene of an accident. You know, I don't, I don't know what type of uh, procedures they do they take on um you know it just makes me wonder i mean are they using any type of machine to see if they have a pulse you know because i mean just by putting your fingers to your neck sometimes you don't feel a pulse so if that's how they are declaring them dead they're wrong and they shouldn't be doing that and it makes you think you know it makes you admit well it makes me wonder you know, how many people have possibly still been alive and they do an autopsy on them or something like that and the person doesn't wake up? Okay, because your body can go into like a state of uh, like, you know, some sort of shock, you know, and that's what I'm assuming that these people have gone into like some sort of temporary like state, you know, like to where they're not really consciously there, you know, and, but they're still alive, you know, but they're non-responsive and everything else. I don't know. It just strange, you know, it looks to me like 
these places need to get better equipment, you know, or different procedures of, um, you know, to perform to see if the person is dead or alive. Y'all leave y'all's comments and feedback below. If y'all want to send me anything, you can feel free to do so in my email. Or you can send it to me on uh, Messenger on Facebook. You can add me and send me whatever you like through there. The links for both of those are down below. If you are not subscribed to my main channel, please uh, click on the link down below and go subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get your notifications. And till the next time, I will talk to you guys later. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you and I love you.